Somebody call for a nurse. Will I be okay? Of course you will, my boy. You'll be up and around in no time. And perhaps one day, you and I shall meet on the field of battle, and I will destroy you for the glory of the Santaran Empire. Thanks, nurse. <laughs> Commander Strax, I just have to ask, a Santaran nurse? I serve a penance to restore the honor of my clone batch. It is the greatest punishment a Santaran can endure, to help the weak and sick. Who came up with that one? Tonight, though, perhaps my penance is over. Captain Harcourt, I hope someday to meet you in the glory of battle, where I shall crush the life from your worthless human form. Try and get some rest. This space is now under our command. I have... Don't slump, it's bad for your spine. All airlock sealed, resistance neutralized. Sorry, Colonel Manton. Colonel Manton, you will give the order for your men to withdraw. I'm Captain Avery and his men are Is she all right? Yeah, she's just crying. Give her to me, human fools. He needs changing. I just changed her. I I think she might need a feed. A feed? Of course. I'll take care of everything. Uh, I really don't think you will, actually. I have gene spliced myself for all nursing duties. I can produce magnificent quantities of lactic fluid. She's not hungry. Drop your weapons. State your rank and intent. I found it listening at the door. Confirmed. No life forms registering on this base except us and the Silurians. The headless monks aren't alive. Commander Strax! I'm trying to seal off this area of the lighting grid. There should be some plasma pistols somewhere. They left everything. Then find them, boy! She's definitely a girl. Oh, stop it! Mr. Maldivar, get back here! Arm yourself, fool! Doria! Drown the sun's run, but count the cost. It's strange. I've often dreamed of dying in combat. I'm not enjoying it. As much as I hoped. Come on, Strax. Don't give up. It's all right. I've had a good life. I'm nearly 12. Listen to me. You'll be back on your feet in no time. You're a warrior. <sighs> Rory. I'm a nurse. <laughs> What do you suppose they're doing in there? The snow is new. Possibly alien. When you find something brand new in the world, something you've never seen before, what's the next thing you look for? A grenade. A profit. That's Victorian values for you. I suggest a full frontal assault with automated laser monkeys, scalpel mines, and acid. Why? Couldn't we at least investigate. It's none of our business. Sir, permission to express my opposition to your current apathy. Permission granted. Sir, I am opposed to your current apathy. Thank you, Strax. And if I'm ever in the need of advice from a psychotic potato dwarf, you'll certainly be the first to know. But if the snow is new and alien, shouldn't we be making some attempt to destroy it? Be reasonable. It is not our problem. Over a thousand years of saving the universe, Strax. You know the one thing I learned? The universe doesn't care. Now, we have a problem of our own to worry about. Where's that thing? Silence, boy! That's Strax, and as you can see, he's easily confused. Silence, girl! Sorry, lad. Sontar and Clone Warrior Race Factory produce whole legions at a time. Two genders is a bit further than he can count. Sir, do not discuss my reproductive cycle in front of enemy girls. It's embarrassing. Typical middle child of six million. We'll need the worm. Sir? You'll need the what? The worm? What worm? Don't worry, it won't hurt you, but one touch on your bare skin and you lose the last hour of your memory. Where is it? Where's what, sir? I sent you to get the memory worm. Did you? When? Who's he? 
What are we doing here? Look, it's been snowing. You didn't use the gauntlets, did you? Why would I need the gauntlets? Do you want me to get the memory worm? You... I don't know. I can see it! Ooh! Can you reach it? Have you got it? Got what, sir? Because these are the gauntlets, aren't they? Sir, emergency! I think I've been run over by a cab! Do not attempt to escape, or you will be obliterated. May I take your coat? What are you doing here? Madame Vastra wondered if you were needing any grenades. Grenades? She might have said help. Help for what? Well, your investigation. Investigation? Who says I'm investigating? Do you think I'm going to start investigating just because some bird smiles at me? Who do you think I am? Sherlock Holmes. Don't be clever, Strax. It doesn't suit you. Sorry, sir. I'm the clever one. You're the potato one. Yes, sir. Now go away. Yes. Mr. Holmes. Oi! <laughs> shut up! You're not clever or funny and you've got tiny little legs. Suggest we melt his brain using projectile acid fish, then interrogate him. Other way round. <coughs> this dwelling is under attack. Remain calm, human scum. Sir, one pelvic grenade would blow these snowmen to smithereens. Made of snow, Strax. They're already smithereens. Strax, how long have we got? They're not going to attack. They made no attempt to conceal their arrival. An attack force would never abandon surprise so easily. And they're clearly in a defence formation. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Well done, Strax. He's still <laughs> got it, buddy. Sir, please do not noogie me during combat prep. To be alive now. This technology has capacities and abilities beyond anything your puny human mind could possibly understand. Try not to worry. No, you must fight. Hang on and fight, boy. You can do it. According to my research, Sweetville's proprietor holds recruitment drives for her little community. She is only interested in the fittest and the most beautiful. You may rely on me, ma'am. I was, in fact, speaking to Jenny. Jenny. If this weak and fleshy boy is to represent us, uh, I strongly advise the issuing of scissor grenades, limbo vapour, and triple blast brain splitters. What for? Just generally. Remember, we are going to the north. If our stratagem succeeds, Jenny will infiltrate deep into the black heart of this curious place. And how will she locate the doctor? To find him, she needs only ignore all keep-out signs, go through every locked door, and run towards any form of danger that presents itself. Business as usual, then. Business as usual. Now, travel from London is pressing to see Madame Vastra. If you'd be so kind as to announce me, my good man. Who shall I say is calling? It asked for permission to enter, and then it fell over. What are we to make of it? I imagine Mr. Thursday wants to know what progress we're making. The question is, how did the doctor's image come to be preserved on a dead man's eye? It's a scientific impossibility. I wonder how Jenny is getting on. If she hasn't made contact by nightfall, I suggest a massive frontal assault on the factory, madam. Casualties can be kept at perhaps as little as 80%. I think there may be subtler ways of proceeding, Strax. Suit yourself. Horse! You have failed in your mission! We are lost, with no sign of Sweetville. Do you have any final words before your summary execution? Ugh, the usual story. Fourth one this week, and I'm not even hungry. Sweet, boss, sir. Do you know it? Turn around when possible. 
Then, at the end of the road, turn right. What? Bear left for a quarter of a mile and you'll have reached your destination. Thank you. What is your name? Thomas, sir. Thomas Thomas. I think you will do well, Thomas Thomas. Santa! <laughs> 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 What now, madam? We could lay my magic cluster vines. Strax. Oh, dig trenches and fill them with acid. Strax, you're overexcited. Have you been eating this jelly Sherbet fancies again? No. Go outside and wait for me until I call for you. But, madam, I... Go! I'm gonna go play with my grenades. Down your weapon, human female. Thanks a million, you three. As ever, have some Pontefract cakes on me. I love Pontefract cakes. <laughs> ha! See you around, eh? I shouldn't wonder. Another one for the vault. Where's Strax got to? The usual. This is weekend off. <sighs> I wish he'd never discovered that place. Santa ha! Santa ha! Yeah! Come here, for I'll kill you, you filthy wee maiden. Prepare to die in agony for the glory of the Santaran Empire. Ah! Excuse me, Master Strax. What is it, girl? Can't you see I'm trying to crush the brains of this stinking primitive? Sorry about this. No problem. It's a telegram, sir. Very urgent. Conference call. Sorry, Archie. I'm going to have to ask you to render me unconscious. Fine. Better use this. Might take a while. <laughs> Strax, good of you to join us. It better be important. I was in the middle of destroying some very pleasant primitives. I apologise for the interruption, but there is urgent news concerning the Doctor. Who else is coming? The women. We are awaiting only one more participant. Oh, no. Not the one with the gigantic head. It's hair straps. <sighs> hair. That is his current travelling assistant. Assistant? Have you got a darker green? Professor River Song. The doctor might have mentioned me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course he has. Professor Song. Sorry, it's just I, I never realised you were a woman. Well, neither did I. Jenny, can you hear me? Speak to us, boy! You two Strax. Wake up now! This place is surrounded. Lay down your weapons and your deaths will be merciful. Jenny! Jenny! This planet is now property of the Santaran Empire. Surrender your women and intellectuals. Strax, please! She's dead. No heartbeat. Complete cardio collapse, shock induced. Get her back for me. Get her back for me now, or I will cut you into pieces. Unhand me, ridiculous <laughs> reptile! <coughs> there we go. Just a standard electrocardio restart. She'll be fine. Are you all right, my love? Can you hear me? The heart is a relatively simple thing. I've not found it to be so. Madam, boys, combat formation. They are unarmed. So are we. Do not divulge our military secrets. Yeah. Do you want me to do that again? <laughs> Unhand me, sir. <laughs> Leave him alone. Let him be. Don't worry, sir. I think I've got him rattled. Why did you open the door, sir? I had them on the run. But what is the light? It's beautiful. Shall I destroy it? Shut up, Strax. Doctor, explain. What is that? Please, Jenny! No! Oh, God, oh, 
Oh, please, no. Reptile scum. <gasps> you are an affront to some tar and purity. Prepare to perish. We're friends. Extracts, your past is changing. But I swear, we are comrades. Die, reptile! <sighs> it was an unprovoked and violent attack, but that's no excuse. We are all restored. That's all that matters now. Go to the TARDIS. The fast return protocol should be on. This is not a day for jumping to conclusions, Strax, if you wouldn't mind. Hello? Exit the box and surrender to the glory of the Sontaran Empire. Shush. Doctor? I was being chased by a giant dinosaur, but I think I managed to get the slip. Sleepy. Sir? Passful. Sneezy. Dopey. Grumpy. Yes. How do you know? Come on, Clara. You know that I speak dinosaur. He's not Clara. I'm Clara. Well, you're very similar heights. Maybe you should wear labels. Boy, Madame Vestra is waiting. Okay. Whatever. I will convey you to her chamber. May I take your coat? Not wearing a coat. What's all that? Clothes. May I take your clothes? Probably not. Are you wearing a hat? It's hair! No, I think it's a hat. Would you like me to check? The question is how. The flesh itself has been combusted. No, no, today. shut up! Come on, I think, scum, position it here. Easy now. That's it. Careful. Don't get it scratched, or you and all your bloodline will be obliterated from time and space. Strax! Ah, morning, Miss doing? Clara. You're awake at last. You got the TARDIS, then? Military tactics. The Doctor is still missing, but he will always come looking for his box. By bringing it here, he will be lured from the dangers of London to this place of safety, and we will melt him with acid. OK, that last part? And we will not melt him with acid. One more. Old habits. Just checking this one. The Times. Shall I send it up? Yeah, why not? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Strax. Sorry. I've told you before. Take the stairs. Defensive positions, everyone. Uh, ah. The one's upstairs. Ah. We're mere decoys. Everything. Ah. Don't worry, my boy. We shall die in glory. Okay. Why can't you stay dead, coward? Ah. Oh. 